Hello and welcome back to the Wasteland, everybody. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, where today we're going to be taking a look at the almighty BB gun, a weapon that has been requested actually quite a bit recently. So the BB gun is potentially one of the first weapons that you find in New Vegas. You can find one inside of Good Springs, and they're kind of rare weapons that you can find throughout the world. A lot of them are just hidden around the world. Sometimes vendors will sell them, sometimes they won't. Anybody familiar with Fallout 3, this is like your first weapon in Fallout 3. And this has been a gun in almost every Fallout game, I believe, because there was a BB gun in Fallout 1 and 2. I don't believe there was one in Tactics, there was three in New Vegas, and I don't think there was one in 4. BB gun has been around quite a bit, and it hasn't really changed a whole lot, not that it really needs to. It's a little Red Rider BB gun, and this one's a pretty fun toy. So for the base stats of the BB gun, this one requires zero guns to wield and only one strength. I would kind of hope so, it being a BB gun and all. So any character can use this right at the very start, which is pretty cool. This one does a whopping 4 damage per hit, so very low damage. 6 damage per second, also very low damage per second. This one has 4 crit damage on it, not very high crits either. 1 times crit modifier, so average. Cost 28 action points, which I feel like that's a bit high for the BB gun. It's about as high as a lot of the rifles get, and it's not nearly as strong as the rifles, so it's not really a great action point build weapon. This one also has 0.5 spread, so it isn't one of the more accurate guns. I think it's the least accurate lever action gun in the game where all the other ones are extremely accurate. The BB gun isn't terrible, but it's not super accurate either. The BBs also have projectile velocity on them too, so they're not hit scan like some of the other weapons or have a super fast velocity like some of the weapons. So if enemies start running away from you or running at an angle away from you, you will have to lead your shot a little bit and your shot's going to be a little bit delayed upon the hit. This one holds 100 rounds in it. It's one of the highest capacity guns in the game, I guess. This one uses the BB, which is not a very common ammo. That's kind of a problem with the BB gun. BBs are actually fairly rare to find and vendors don't tend to sell a whole lot of them. This one weighs two weight in total and it has an item health of 50, which is very low. It breaks fairly fast. Finding one of these early on can actually be kind of useful in Good Springs because you can actually start shooting at least smaller things like geckos, maybe some rad roaches, even though those are fairly rare in New Vegas as well. And potentially a couple other enemies like mole rats or even big horners. You can get a little bit of value out of the BB gun. It's not a super strong weapon. Let's go over the pros and cons to it. For the general pros, it is an early game weapon. It's a funny weapon and it has a huge magazine capacity. Holding 100 rounds is pretty impressive even if those 100 rounds don't do very much. For the cons, it has very low stats all across the board. So you, you're probably not going to be using the BB gun unless you're doing a challenge run or you just think it's funny and you're shooting smaller enemies like maybe the baby mantises. The other major con is ammo. It's really hard to find BBs sometimes. You can go up to like the Great Con vendor and they tend to sell at least a decent amount at times. But a lot of other vendors really don't sell very much and you're going to be using a lot of rounds with the BB gun if you actually want to kill basically anything with it because it is... Uh, very, very weak. There isn't anything you can put in the BB gun besides BBs. You can't even get pellets or something, so your BBs are always going to be the same. This isn't a unique ammunition that you can put into it or anything. For perks that actually do kind of help the BB gun, Cowboy is actually related to this because this does count as a lever action rifle, so you can get a 25% damage boost from that, but Keep in mind you only have 4 damage, so 25% is not a whole lot, you go up to 5 damage. I mean, I guess that is a large amount of damage increase compared to what we were at, but it's still not going to be massive. And sometimes the luck perks help, at least with the unique version of the BB gun. So if you wanted to go with light touch to get you more crit damage when wearing light armor, better crits to hit crits harder than just like crit clothing in general, whether you have like the first recon beret, or you have the lucky shades or something, maybe Joshua's outfit. Anything that gives you extra crit chance can make the unique BB gun better. The regular BB gun, you're still just going to be doing that 4 crit damage, so even if you hit crits, you are getting more value out of each of your BBs, but it's really not all that impressive. It's going to take you a very long time to kill anything, let alone anything in armor. If they have any sort of armor, BB gun is not going to be a great way to go about this. And for all that, I would put the BB gun into F tier. It is really not a great weapon, you probably shouldn't be using it. It is more of a gimmick weapon, or it is more of a role-playing weapon, or a challenge weapon. Not a serious weapon. The unique version, however, is quite a bit better. Let's talk about that one. This is the Abilene Kid LE BB gun. This one you can find north of Good Springs in a shack just before the Boomer's Place. It's just laying on a shelf, you can grab it right there. 
And this one is really interesting because this one actually is pretty decent. So this one for stats requires zero guns, one strength, same as the regular BB gun. It still does the very low four damage per hit and the six damage per second. So it's very low in damage and damage per second. However, it's crit damage is amazing because it's crit damage is actually 70. That's the same as a brush gun in terms of damage. So when you hit crits with the BB gun or at least the unique BB gun, it is actually really impactful. And that's why something like better crits can be so good because that's another 50% added on to the 70 damage that you already have. And keep in mind, if you do sneak attacks, then this doubles your crit damage. So this goes up to 140 crit damage, even higher with better crits on top of that, making it so this one's actually pretty good. And all the BB guns do count as silenced weapons. So they're actually difficult to hear you from. Although again, you do have the projectile velocity and the projectile distance that you have to worry about. So hitting long range sneak hits with the BB gun is not something that's super easy to do unless the target is very big. This one does have an above average crit modifier too at 1.5 times, so you're more likely to hit crits, which is pretty awesome. This one still costs 28 action points. This one still has the same spread at 0.5, so it's not the most accurate, but it's not terrible either. Still holds 100 rounds in it, still weighs two weight, but this one has double the amount of item health going up to 100 item health. That is still a very low amount of item health and you're gonna have to shoot things quite a bit with this unless you're just constantly rolling crits. And if you build up a full crit build, this one can actually be pretty decent. It's still not going to be super practical, especially compared to other crit weapons or other suppressed weapons like Christina's COS rifle. That one is just going to be way out competing this gun because it's just strong by itself. It has really good add-ons. So this still isn't going to be like a top tier weapon, but if you're doing a challenge run and your challenge run is just to use BB guns of any type, this one is by far the best one and it is pretty practical to actually do a run like that. It's not going to be amazing in a lot of ways, but it's not going to be horrible either. The, the most terrible part about that run would just be finding enough BBs in order to get the run going because again, they're not super common. So this one, I would actually put quite a bit higher on our tier list. I would put this one up into C tier, mostly because the BB issue and it's still not very practical compared to some of the other end game type weapons. Other weapons would be better than this one in a lot of situations. Even something like the Rat Slayer, I'd say is probably better than this since it has a more common ammo, it has more ammo variety, and it has higher crit chance, even though it will do less overall damage, potentially, than the unique BB gun since at least that one can hit crits really hard, but it's maybe unlikely unless you're getting a lot of crits from a crit build, which does work just fine, but the Rat Slayer can also take advantage of something like that. Would I recommend the BB gun? The regular one? No, not really. The unique one? Yeah, maybe. The unique one does at least offer something, and it is a really fun weapon to take, so if you want to pick it up and carry it around, by all means, go for it. It's even better since it only weighs two weight, and if you have pack right, it goes down to one, so it really doesn't take up that much item space, and BBs are super lightweight, even if you're playing on the hardcore difficulty, that you can just hoard as many as you'd like. They're never going to weigh you down. So if you want to carry it around as like a pest control weapon, it can actually be pretty decent. Or even for initiating a fight, it can actually be pretty decent. Uh, again, gets out competed by quite a few other rifles, but it is a fun gun overall. Tell me your thoughts on the BB gun and the unique BB gun down in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye bye everyone.